Today, we're in Washington State, sipping Cabernet Sauvignon. You know what it is. Welcome to another episode of Wine Sill of the Week, where I go find a bottle that is under $20 that's punching above its weight class. Hey, hey, what up, y'all? Happy Friday. Um, hopefully, we got a deal to take you into the weekend the right way. Um, before I get into the wine, though, I got to tell you, this is a uh, kind of a special day for me. I've been working on this project for like the last couple months, last three, four months. Um, and um, it's an audio thing. So I, the project is basically, originally I wanted to do, I wrote a pilot, right, for TV. Um, and, you know, there's the whole strike going on. On top of that, uh, it's very hard to break into the industry um, down in, in Hollywood, down in L.A. So I wanted to figure out, like, a, I have a story that I really think is dope, and I wrote it, and I want to see I wanted to see if I could, you know, put it out there. And so I decided, you know, forget about it. I don't have an agent or anything like that. I'm just going to go for it. And so... I did it. I finished it. I got the audio version of uh, the pilot done, and uh, I'm going to be uh, releasing it. Um, you know, I'm going to release the first part of it for free, and then, you know, if you want to watch or listen to the rest of it, you can go to my Patreon and check it out. Um, and I'll have my Patreon information down below and also have it in the link in my uh, bio. Um, but yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited for this. Hope you guys enjoy it. Um, it's it's dope. It's you know usual suspects. The original movie from nineteen ninety five was had was and always has been my favorite suspense of all time, and specifically because of the character Kaiser Sose. And um, what I try to do is I try to humanize his character. I want you guys to see who he really is, and so I hope you guys check it out. Um, and it'll be on a lot of different platforms very soon. So just wanted to let you know the heads up on that, but. Let's get to the wine because that's what we're here for. Oh, also included in that Patreon, you have my full um, audio book for my uh, Fruit and Glass uh, wine book. So you can also go check out if you into the wine side of everything. You can go check out my audio book there too, and that's all included too. So go check that out. So let's get into the wine because that's what you guys are here for. Um, we are talking about Cabernet Sauvignon. This is called the Head Turner out of Red Mountain, 2019. So it got a little bit of age on it. Uh, Red Mountain, Washington State. You guys can see that. I really, really dig this label, and it's kind of one of the reasons why I picked up this bottle. Other reason this is Red Mountain, Washington State. You know how I feel about Cabernets and almost Bordeaux grapes out in Washington State. They just tend to flourish there. So anyway, let's get right into it. On the nose, blackberries and black plum is what is the two fruit that jump out immediately at me. This reminds me kind of already on the nose of um, Bordeaux like it definitely is giving like a very like a little bit riper side of Bordeaux but it's not overly ripe at all it's not California cab it's this has some um this has some depth to it but also like not overly ripe not overly ripe on the fruit there's kind of like a raisin net thing going on as a, as a secondary so you know chocolate cover raisins but like not regular chocolate like dark chocolate the bitter like high cacao 70% chocolate around raisins i don't know why that's why it's what why that's jumping out but that's what i'm catching a lot on here there's some black licorice going on here too some coffee grounds here too a bit of like a hickory smoke as a secondary this is very complex on the nose it's a cassis let's go ahead and taste it and see if everything's translating to the palate head turners right this is very good. This is kind of the the bottle I've been looking for for like the last like couple of months. This is something that I've been I've been looking for like a really uh, non Bordeaux cab that has some depth, um, some a lot of like some complexity, the um, richness of fruit, but also has like some earthy components going on. Um, full body, um, yeah. This is that one. This is delicious. Um, break it down in a second. You know how I get when I really, really like something. Yo. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to preference this whole 
statement I'm going to make with is, this is young. I think this could age for like another 10 to 15 years, to be honest with you. This has ageable qualities here. Um, it's approachable, but there's some tan in here. Uh, I'm going to say, uh, go. okay, so let me break it down to structure first. You're looking at medium plus tan into high tan in here. Um, acid is medium, medium, like kind of between medium and medium minus. Um, finish is super long here. Um, it's still kicking in the back of my, um, the back of my, um, back of my throat. Pause. Um, so this wine is one way when you just drink it. If you just want to drink it, that's great. And it's really, really good already. A little young and tight, but it's very, very good. Like level, like uh, vel levels of velvet on your palate um, and complexity and seamless complexity with a couple of hiccups just because it's young but you know this is gonna when this levels out this is gonna really level out um dark fruit up front you're getting that blackberry thing that i was talking about that cassis up front too as it gets into like the second or third quarter you're gonna you're kind of getting that black plum thing that kicks in um you're getting these coffee grounds things on the third to fourth quarter along with this really cool black tea thing so you're definitely getting some tea, tea here um I just love how this keeps on just developing on your palate. When you let air in this thing, like there's one thing to just drink it straight up, but when you let air in this thing, this thing just gets really complex, really fast. Like I want to sit back on a porch with this bottle at nighttime as the, as the moon, it's a full moon, and I just want to sit there and just write sonnets and like poetry and stuff like this. This is a, this is a great wine. I'm really digging it. Um, yeah, this is just, yeah, this is doing a lot and I like it. Um, if I'm scoring this wine, wine still of the week will be right back. What's up, everybody? I want you to come check out my new art gallery. I have it on my online store. Go check it out. I have a lot of different stuff in there and it's all wine inspired art. You know, I love wine. You know, I love art. I want to bring in two of my passions and, you know, display it. So go check it out. Link is in the bio. Cheers, guys. Now back to the show. Yo, know, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna go 92 plus. Yeah, and for the price that I'm about to tell you, I could go 93, but I'm gonna go 92 plus, just to keep it conservative. Um, really digging this wine. Um, the steel here, you can get this from Grocery Outlet. Uh, and if I was to be specific, it's from the one in Redwood City. Um, if you're in California, but I'm sure you can find it at other grocery outlets. Um, the steel here is this nine dollars and ninety nine cents. This bottle, in my opinion, should be pushing about fifty dollars to fifty five dollars. To be honest with you, it's and maybe more. This is a good bottle of wine. And if I yeah, I think I may have to go grab a case of this, guys. Um, highly recommend this wine. Go grab it. Other than that, um, again, I have mad things coming your way. And on top of that, for all the people that won the book drawing, I can't, I'm can't. i going to get your books out hopefully by next week. Um, yeah, there's a lot of winners, and I can't wait to share uh, what I've been working on at, uh, at Grapes and Sand with you guys. So, uh, guys, question of the day. Um, what is your favorite place in Washington State for Cabernet Sauvignon? Um, there's, come, there's Walla Walla, Columbia Valley, Red Mountain, uh, Yakima. Uh, there's all these different places in Washington. Where's your favorite place for Cabernet Sauvignon in Washington State? Guys, until next time, cheers.